So yesterday I was uh, trying the master shots and I kind of really got freaked out because at about a minute into the flight the drone just really took off <laughs> really high and really far and it was windy so I kind of got freaked out thinking that I don't know what's happening to the drone I don't know if uh, the winds are taking it and if it's gonna just disappear and I won't be able to get back so I successfully activated the master shots and I could see on the screen that it was elevating beautifully it was taking some really gorgeous footage it was just hovering above the pool behind me so I went into the pool started swimming around and I could see it hover and everything felt uh, beautiful but then all of a sudden it started flying really high and moving further away somewhere in mid-flight so that was about a minute into the flight it was supposed to do about two minutes total all of a sudden I kind of freaked out because I wasn't sure if it's the wind that's taking it away or if it's just the normal route of what it's supposed to do and the footage that it wants to take from further away I have to admit I kind of freaked out so I came out of the pool and I canceled out the master shot sequence and I called it back to home and I landed it it just it just really dark and cloudy and it feels like it's really windy so I didn't feel that comfortable just keeping it it was really flying away where I, I, I felt like maybe I have no control so I called it back I really want to do this when it's not so windy so we'll try this again so far so good I have it in my hand that's all I'm happy about that I have it back in my hands <laughs> Poor baby. baby but today it is about almost 8 o'clock in the morning it's really peaceful and calm so I'm ready have it opened up I'm gonna place it on the ground I'm gonna put my phone up on the app in the remote control and hopefully I will get some master shots before it starts raining I see some rain clouds coming this way but hopefully I can get some quick footage over the pool area here and get some nice master shots and this time I'm just gonna let it do whatever it wants to do now I know that it may just take up really high it might fly away it's gonna do automatically and hoping that the program works and it comes back to where it starts so let's see how that goes so I'm opening up the remote placing my phone and then I have to pair the drone obviously I need to start press one short and then hold it until it beeps this one's activated I'll, do, I'll activate the drone too drone is activated I have it placed on the ground it's beeping, I guess it's ready to go. So all I have to do now is start up the app and now I gotta pair it up and let it lift off, find the master shots. And then what I'll do is I'll let it fly up. I'll jump in the pool and see what kind of beautiful shots it takes. Okay, I've activated the master shots. The drone is out. I have no idea where it's going. Um, <laughs> I can see it going really high up, almost kill myself. So I'm gonna go in the pool, let it do its thing. So the drone is high up flying, I can see it circling around and taking shots, so I'm just gonna... Ooh, the pool is a little chilly. I'm just gonna swim in the pool and let it shoot.
back it started hovering over that area where I started it from and I landed it. I don't see the footage on the camera, but hopefully the beautiful footage. I saw it hover all around, go really high. I didn't worry about anything this time. I just let it do its thing and it came right back to where it started from. So, so far so good. I got the drone back.